Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review and we are looking at the German, Marco Reus. And if you are wanting to actually uh, recommend me some players in the comment section for me to have a look at, please feel free to do so because the next one I've got uh, in the works is Tevez. To get a review out on Tevez, someone recommended that. So yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy these, please do drop a like and I will do some more. And if you're needing Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com. Their links will be found just below in the description. They've got Xbox. PS, PC coins, all in stock ready for you guys to go and purchase. And if you need game codes uh, to redeem them on the Xbox or PlayStation for FIFA Point, check out G2A. Links also down there in the description and use the code Fuji. So uh, I think we are ready. Let's do it. So Marco Reus is 86 rated, and some of the stats on his card are incredible. Really good for a winger, in fact. But he gets released as a left mid, so keep that in mind if you may be searching for the left wing version and one pops up on the market and you overpay. No. Left mid is his natural position. I've moved him up to the left wing spot because I know, you know, he plays a lot better uh, sort of up up the pitch. You, you want to get him involved in the attack as much as you can. So the stats on his card, he's got 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 84 shot for a winger is uh, outstanding. He's got 39 defending, 85 passing and 84 physical. Wow, that is that is really, really nice. And look at the team. The team itself is is something where you're you've got the comfortable defense uh, the midfielders are going to do all the work so it allows someone like Marco Royce just to have some fun on the ball you, you don't mind losing it you want to go on those skill runs and that's exactly what I was doing you're going to be seeing some awesome clips from the from the man himself uh, but I played six games I scored four goals and two assists now for a winger I think those are some pretty good stats and and I probably could have got a lot more like free kick wise if it wasn't for me hitting the bar or, or hitting the people on the wall because you know everyone tracks their players back and, and blocks it. I think those are a good, uh, some good stats there. Match ratings, very consistent across the board. Like he wasn't, he, I don't think he had a bad game. In all honesty, he didn't have a bad game. But some of his standout stats here, uh, 90 curve, 87 dribbling, 85 ball control. His strength, he feels a lot stronger in game. He's just annoying. You can't get the ball off him. When he starts on those sort of dribble runs, yeah, he's hard to dispossess. But the, his short passing as well, perfect link up player, awesome crosses, four star skills, four star weak foot. He's right-footed so you can cut inside. What more do you want from Marco Royce? He was one of my favorite wingers on the game last year. So we are ready for the clips. Are you ready? Because you're going to see some awesome ones. Let's go. And there were people saying the pace wasn't going to be an issue in FIFA 16. Well, let me tell you, my friend, you are wrong. Because Marco Royce, if you shift that body weight and you flick the stick, flick the stick, you are gone. He's uh, He's got blistering pace. And one thing I really like about Royce is he's so light on the ball. I spent 180,000 coins on him. And my honest opinion, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad if I spent 400k. I think that Marco Royce is worth... 400,000 coins on the game with what everybody else is going for right now definitely without a doubt he needs to be up there with Aguero he needs to be up there with um, Hazard like he's an incredible player and one thing I did notice is obviously his dribbling is fantastic his uh, crossing his passing he's just like the perfect winger honestly uh, one thing I did notice is because I was like focusing my attack down the left hand side uh, after a while when you keep doing it over and over again your opponent is more inclined to come over there like uh, second man press and that opens it up in the middle so if you beat one player you basically got a free goal so the impact he had in the game was just absolutely ridiculous man really love Royce uh, a couple of times I could have probably scored long shots but it was just from like a skill run and then I was just about to finesse it and it got blocked uh, finishing wise though in and around the box if you can get in in the area which you will be able to if you learn how to skill properly um, and I've, I'm starting to pick it up and getting a lot better at it like, I've even got on a skill run with Dyke Meyer like Jesus man I, I, I'm loving this game right now but Marco Royce finishing wise he's probably I would get, give him like an 8 out of 10 like he's not he's not the most of clinical finishes that you're ever gonna buy but for a winger and for someone that can actually finish the way he does then you've got, you've got yourself a really, really good player there. So yeah, guys, if you want to see some more reviews from me, make sure to drop a like. But for value for money, 10 out of 10. Like 180,000 coins is the best 180k you're going to ever spend. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Team Fuji, I'm out. Peace.